Hey, what is up guys and girls? My name is Grief Drums and today we are going to be doing a special of three videos. This is going to be the first of those three, but we're going to be taking a look at Operation Red Crow and all of the information that we got yesterday at the Pro League Finals. So first up today, we are going to be taking a look in this video at Hibana. Now, as we know, Hibana is the attacking operator that has been introduced in Red Crow. She is going to have a ex Kairos launcher. Now, we knew it was a launcher that fired thermite rounds, but now we've got a lot more information about that. Unfortunately, due to a bug during the Pro League Finals and during the showcase, we didn't get to see a whole lot of it, but hey, this is Rainbow Six. Bugs are to be expected. The few times that we did get to see it, it did look pretty cool, I've got to be honest. And there was quite a lot of talk by the devs about exactly how this thing works. So Hibana is going to carry three banks of six shots for this thing, which is a pretty formidable amount. That is going to be game changing. The meta is no longer going to be how it was. So because she carries three loads of six, what she can do is she can utilize them for murder holes, vaultable holes, or like Thermite, open up an entire wall to be able to walk through it. The way to do this is by layering. So you can shoot three rows, one on top of the other. That will open the entire wall. If you shoot two, so one on top of the other, that'll open a vaultable hole. One interesting thing to note is that I noticed a bit of gameplay in which they shot just a single row across the bottom of a wall and people were crawling through that. That was a very clever idea. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works, but they're very, very similar to the linear murder holes that we see. And Blackbeard is definitely going to benefit from this. They announced that Bandit and Mute can counter Hibana just as they can with Thermite. The only difference being that Bandit will not be able to Bandit trick. There is no way he can do it. If the batteries are down already, then Hibana's Thermite charges are no longer going to work. It'll destroy them almost instantaneously. If, however, Bandit tries tricking once they've gone down on the wall, even though they take quite a long amount of time to go off, he said that that will not work. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what we're going to do about this. Mute jammers do work as it interferes with the signal that Hibana sends to set these things off. So that's a positive for defenders. But the fact that Hibana can fire so many of these shots in so many different places before she sets them off, I mean, the whole room could pretty much collapse in at once. Murder holes could appear on three different walls at the same time, so it's going to be pretty insane. Now, the biggest concern for me is the fact that this may make Thermite completely redundant. It may automatically mean that you couple the both of them up. I mean, Hibana, as we know, is going to be really powerful when coupled with Blackbeard, but having Thermite open a wall and Hibana open a reinforced wall on the other side of the objective, that's going to be pretty powerful, and it's going to be game-changing. We did get a lot more detailed look at Hibana's guns. Her Type 89 is going to hold 21 rounds in the magazine. So it's very similar to Thatcher's AR-33. And the Bearing 9 submachine pistol that she carries as a secondary is going to hold 26 rounds. Now, because this doesn't have an ACOG, it's not exactly the same as the SMG-11. That has been announced that it's not going to have an ACOG, which I know a lot of people are going to be happy with. But as a result, they've clearly given it a larger magazine capacity. This thing does look pretty powerful, and I think it is going to be used fairly similarly to the SMG. The Supernova shotgun is going to hold seven rounds. This thing looks pretty powerful. It is a pump action, and it is very, very similar to the SAS shotguns. But all in all, Hibana looks to be a pretty beasty character, and she's probably going to be a must-pick, in all honesty, for new players and older players alike. So I'm really excited about the addition of Hibana. I'm looking forward to playing and trying her out, seeing exactly what you can do and how creative you can be. I mean, potentially you might be able to make murder holes in drops and hatches and stuff like that. So that's going to be interesting. As I did mention, this is going to be the first of three videos. So later on today, you'll be able to see the video on Echo and all of his abilities. And just after that, you'll be able to see the video on all of the announcements and upcoming features that we saw in the live stream. There is some really big news on the way, so make sure to tune in for that. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay reckless and relentless.